It started in a college dorm, but two Washington locations and two food trucks later, the newest taste of the Caribbean is now in West Baltimore and in today's Coffee With. We're really pleased this morning to be joined by Natasha Myrie Powell. She is the operations manager for Jerk at Night. Natasha, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tim. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, the pleasure is ours because anytime we're talking about jerk chicken and Jamaican food this early in the morning, that's a treat. So tell us yes. about Jerk at Night. So Jerk at Night is a Caribbean-based, fusion, eclectic, and organic restaurant based here in Baltimore City. My brother, Denville Myrie Jr., he started at Howard University in his dorm room, and we now have two brick-and-mortar restaurants. So we come from the dorm room to two food trucks and now two restaurants. It must be good stuff. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. We we use an array of herbs and spices directly from Jamaica. We both go out there periodically every so often and we bring back goods like uh, pimento wood and um, herbs and, and different seasonings and spices that you really can't get in the States unless you import it. So we actually handpick them when we go home. Folks have had Jamaican food. People have had jerk chicken. But what makes yours special? Obviously, it's uh, <laughs> good enough that you've been able to grow from a college campus now to two cities. So tell us what makes yours so unique. <laughs> I believe the love and the passion that we have for our culture. My brother and I are very, very proud of where we come from. We're very proud of our parents, our grandparents who migrated from Jamaica to America for better opportunities and better living. And we grew up in a solid Jamaican household around really good food, culture. The mission of Jerk at Night is just to spread that culture, spread that love and passion for food throughout the DMV. And the fact that our food is healthy, it's organic, the vegetables, the meats are halal. It's it's good food, and you won't feel guilty eating it. And then it's also so robust and flavorful. What my brother did was he grew up watching my father and my uncle, who was a chef for over 30 years. He grew up and watching them cook. So what he did was he he put his own spin on it, and he came up and conjured up different recipes so it would be an eclectic fusion of soul Jamaican and even Hispanic Latin culture as well. Roll off just maybe three or four names of some of the items on your menu. Oh, that's easy. So our best-selling items in D.C. and Baltimore are the Yardi. The Yardi comes with rice and peas, cabbage, and jerk chicken. Our second best-seller is the Rasta pasta. It comes with an array of seasonings and spices, penne, jerk Alfredo sauce, Parmesan, and onions, peppers, the trio, of course. And then our last one is the jerk box that comes with our jerk mac and cheese, again, with an array of spices and jerk seasoning and soft rasta bread with three pieces of jerk chicken. And lastly, our wings and tings that comes with <laughs> three wings and your choice of two sides, whether it be plantain, rice and peas or, or jerk mac and cheese. But let me tell you, our jerk mac and cheese is the star of the show. And website? Website is jerkatnight.com. Twitter is at jerkatnight. Instagram, jerkatnight. We are so grateful and humbled by the support, the outpouring support that Baltimore City has shown us. You all have welcomed us with open arms, and you have supported us through many trials, and we thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Tim. Thank you. All right. And we'll be right back.